Hey what's up guys, back at it again with another video for y'all. I talk about farms a lot and it's been a while since I last gave a sort of countdown rating type video so here I am with my top 10 farms in World of Warcraft. Anyways, let's just get right into it. My number 10 farm was an easy and expected one, being the garrison farm, more specifically the Lunarfall one. I decided to go with Lunarfall one specifically for my number 10 because I feel like it just edges out its horde equivalent, as a farm in the middle of a frozen cave just doesn't make much sense to me. Also, the farm having functionality as a small source of income for the player is definitely a big plus to it. Other than that though, there's not much going for it in regards to the farm. It's small and definitely would have a hard time feeding any sort of population as it only appears to grow the continent's flowers and nothing else. Getting into more functional farms, the Brackwell Pumpkin Patch was an easy number 9. While not the most impressive farm on my list, it does have one thing going for it, the rare spawn princess that patrols the middle of the farm. Anybody that has leveled a human through Elwyn is probably familiar with this rare as it's a good source of EXP for a low level character. Also, the farm produces pumpkins, giving it more functionality in the grand scheme of things, especially in comparison to the garrison farms, which only produce flowers and non-edible plants. Coming in at number 8, I had to go with the Arathi Coastal Farm. I think that the only thing that keeps this from a higher ranking was the fact that it's been covered in hundreds of YouTube videos, meaning it's not as secretive anymore like the Coastal Torn Settlement on the edge of Silithus. While I still think it's a cool farm, its seclusion is what made it special and unfortunately it's just not as secret as it used to be, which has made it a firm number 8 on my list. On the bright side, this farm does appear to grow food, giving it more functionality than none. My number 7 farm is the farm that's underneath Naxxramas. While not operational, I personally think it's cool as hell that there's a gigantic floating death temple in the sky right above the farm. Personally, if I was a farmer underneath Naxxramas, I think I could simply just match the vibes and chill with the scourge that would constantly attack my farm, cause I'm just that guy. This farm of course would be higher in the list, but it is unfortunately not operational, so it's a strong 7 for me. Now the Saldean farm is one of the questing areas in Westfall for Alliance players, and being the only farm in the entire zone that has not been overrun by the Defias Brotherhood, it's coming in at number 6 for me. Not only does this farm give you a quest to collect ochre on the farm, making it a functional farm, but you also get a cooking recipe at the end of it, which makes it character improving as well. This farm would honestly have been an easy top 3 for me if it weren't for the fact that the buzzards in the area are on really long spawn timers, and in the past when people actually leveled in vanilla zones, completing the quest that required 6 buzzard meat would take a while as there would never be any near the turn in area, which means you were either sat waiting for buzzards to spawn, or you were traveling around the entire zone on foot mind you, looking for buzzards to kill for the CHANCE at meat dropping. PTSD from the quest is the only thing keeping this farm at number 6, but any Anyways, I'm getting off topic, let's move on. My number 5 is the best player farm of the game in my opinion, and it's Half Hill. This is a functional farm you can use to grow your own food, that can be used for cooking recipes, for regular Pandaria cooking, and all 6 of the ways as well. This is one of the more tolerable parts of the Pandaria expansion, at least in my opinion, and personally I enjoy the aesthetic of Valley of the Four Winds, as well as Stormstout Brewery. Personally, I just wish that it was bigger. I'm talking Heartland size, you know what I mean? Anyways, good memories vaulted this farm into my number 5 spot, and here we'll stay. Uh, number 4 is going to be the Arathi Basin Farm. I come here a lot as my favorite way to enjoy WoW is through raided battlegrounds. My favorite part about the Arathi Basin Farm is, as is the name, I can reliably farm horde players here. This farm is functional, as enemies such as the Drakthir and even Torin can be butchered and cooked into a variety of different recipes, which give an assortment of buffs that are useful in both PvP and PvE environments. This would honestly be my number one farm if I got this battleground consistently, but Blizzard loves giving me Eye of the Storm and Seething Shore for some reason. Please remove Seething Shore from the battleground rotation this season, Blizzard. Please remove Seething Shore. 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 Please remove Please remove Seething Shore from the battleground rotation this season, Blizzard. Number three is Dalson Stead in the Western Plaguelands. I didn't even know this farm existed until today, and it has got to be one of the biggest human farms I've seen in game. Also, Zenkiki, the troll here, is pretty dope. Dalson Stead is an easy top three pick for me solely for the usefulness of it. I mean, look at all the food that's grown here. They got apples, corn, even more corn, and pumpkins. 
This place is like uber super useful for sustaining a medium sized population. Easily could feed a town on its own, no doubt about it. Heading into number two is the Furlbrow Farm, another human Westfall farm. This farm edges out the Saldan farm solely because of the fact that the flight master's name is literally Hobo Air. I mean, come on, be for real. I would, however, like to take a moment of silence for Tushu Lu. Thank you guys with, for holding me with me for a moment. His, um, his death was a, a, tra a tra sorry. His death was a tragedy that really hits me hard every time I think about it. Anyways, my number one top farm has to be Admiral Taylor's farm. I mean, bro's spirit got the boulevard treatment. I kind of feel bad for him. Admiral Taylor's garrison, though, is one of my favorite quest areas in the western side of Spires of Iraq, and I have good memories of the questing experience in Warlords. So, for that reason, Admiral Taylor's farm edges out the number one spot for me. Anyways guys, thanks for watching the video. If you guys like the farms, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. My captors say they'll release me if this video gets 1 billion views. Please guys, I need you to share this with everyone you know. I just want to go home to see my family again. Also, make sure to check out the link in my description. Uh, as always, peace out.